One, two, three, fuck it. Hello guys, hello everybody, welcome back, I am Anna and today we are going to be starting a new show. So you have already read the title of this video and before you jump into the comments section, hear me out. We finished Arrested Development last week. We have been watching that for months, we watched all five seasons of it. Now, in the past, I've been continuously reacting to one or two weekly shows that are normally very long. We've been doing Archer, we've done Community, we've done Rick and Morty, and we've done them weekly for months and months until we end them. This time we made a poll for the next weekly show that we're going to do. And we had two horses head to head, always in the run, which were Parks and Recreation and BoJack Horseman. Now, surprisingly, opinions were very divided on those two. <laughs> and it was pretty funny to, to see, you know, I received personal messages, I saw the comments on uh, the poll, I saw the comments on the videos and the rest of development, um, and I just, it was hilarious to me how some people really hated the other show that was very popular in the poll. So some were rooting very strongly for parts and they didn't want to watch BoJack at all and others were the complete upset. They wanted to watch BoJack, they were very keen on it and they didn't care much about parts, they didn't give a lot of good reviews about it for like a long wrong show on this channel. So I kind of been thinking about what would happen if we ended up in a tie. Didn't think it would happen, but it fucking did. <laughs> what I came up with is I am not going to do another poll for those two shows. I think that um, you are pretty decided on what you want to watch. I want to give both a shot, so we're going to do both of them. We're going to do one week of Parks, one week of BoJack, and just like do the first season of each show. Now, I did see, you know, just so much enthusiasm for most of the options in the poll. We had a lot of other shows there. So I did learn something with Arrested Development. Instead of doing just long run shows, seasons after seasons, I want to change it up a bit. I want to make a season of a show and then make a poll to choose the next show that we're gonna watch. So everybody gets a chance to see something different. You know, I think that uh, just making one show for months and months and end can be a little bit tiring even for me. So I would like to try it this way. Let's do Bojack, let's do Parks, and then when we finish the first season of each, we'll run another poll. And this is going to be including uh, It's Always Sunny as well. That show has a fuck ton of fans and a fuck tons of views in my Patreon and in YouTube as well. So I think it's going to be winning the poll every time, but still I want to give everybody, you know, the option to watch, maybe take a breathing from a season of something and watch something else for a few months. So that is going to be the new format. When we end the seventh season of It's Sunny, we're going to be putting up another poll for watch a season of something else maybe. So I hope that this excites you <laughs> and it gives you know the, the channel the opportunity to branch up a little bit. So yeah, those are the news for this videos. <laughs> now Parks and Recreation, I saw that the first season of it had so very few episodes. So we're gonna be watching the first two today and after we finish the first season, we're gonna be putting a poll to see if you wanna watch the next season of it or maybe a season of something different. So you can start thinking about what you wanna, you know, recommend, what you wanna vote for. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit more interacting than usual. Now, 
let's jump into this because apart from the very uh, common memes and sometimes mostly memes of Aubrey Plaza <laughs> and little shorts that I've seen, I don't really know much about this. I think that it's in my mind it's similar to The Office where it's just like a an office, government office kind of job that they have and it's kind of similar in the fake documentary style. So you were excited and now I am excited. So let's watch this. Would you say that you are enjoying yourself and having fun, having a moderate amount of fun and somewhat enjoying yourself or having no fun and no enjoyment? You know, when I first tell people that I work in the government, they say, oh, the government, the government stinks, the lines are too long, the DMV. But now things have changed. People need our help. And it feels good to be needed. Okay? Here, Here we go. Okay, please go away. Okay, wake up. Here we go, out of the slide. You know, government isn't just a boys club anymore. Women are everywhere. It's a great time to be a woman in politics. Hillary Clinton, Sarah Palin, me, Nancy Pelosi. We did it! You know, I, I like to tell people, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's locked. Hello? We're having a meeting in here. Does anybody have any questions about permits? <laughs> and frankly, I don't really care for politics. He fell in and broke both his legs. And let me speak with you for a minute. So your boyfriend fell down into this pit, right? Yes. And um, this guy, is it pretty serious? You guys living together? Yes. Wow. Uh, I'm sure this must be really tough for you. You know, just this guy, it sounds like he didn't have a lot going on for him to start with. And now both legs broken. He's just weak. You have to take care <laughs> of him. You probably feel like you need to move on. What? Just become more adventurous and relationships with your body just and are you are you actually hitting on me right now oh oh god no I'm not I'm not hitting on you I'm actually married I'm just an open person and I like connecting with people I'm you know very comfortable around women is he actually married I'll do something about it really yes we I will help you is that a promise it's more than a promise it's a pinky promise I pinky promise all of you <laughs> that I will help and I will go to that location tomorrow and we will fill in that pit and then when that's done we're gonna put a park on the land. But this pit, the chance to build a whole new park from scratch. This could be my Hoover Dam. Tom and I work really well together. We're both outsiders. I'm a woman, he's a, oh, I think he's a Libyan. I'm from Bennettsville, South Carolina. I'm what you might call a redneck. <laughs> Is it likely? No, nah, it's not likely, you know. But, is it possible? No, it's not possible. Miles of red tape. Really, it sounds like you're telling me to go for it. There's no way it can happen. I can do this. Honey, can you straighten up your area a little bit? Because they're going to be here soon. Can oh! Do you mind doing that somewhere else? I'm trying to watch TV. I'm talking about the pit you fell in. I'm Leslie Nope. And the entire government of Pawnee would like to let you know that we will do everything we can to help you. Oh, my God. How do we let this happen? Jesus Christ. I'm going in. Why? Don't worry, I have a hard hat on. I can see that, but... Yeah. April, document this. Dude, the key to any fact-finding mission is to get right into the battle zone, you know? It's like George Bush when he flew over New Orleans, or Richard Nixon when he went to China to see what the Chinese were up to. No. Oh! 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 oh. 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 <laughs> Leslie! Are you okay? How the fuck is she gonna get out of that? At least my boss will listen to me now that I broke my clavicle. It's not broken. It is. Do you have one of those neck foam collar brace things? Honestly, you're, you're fine. Oh, honestly, my clavicle's broken. 
No, no way. Come on, Ron. I've been He's a loyal foot soldier. Give me my shot. Now, let me tell you something, Ron. What it means is... <laughs> She's insatiable. She's like a little dog with a chew toy. Hey, man. Give me the photo back. What's going on? Don't worry, I can print more. <laughs> I would say that I lost my optimism about government in about two months. Leslie's kept hers for six years. How? Oh yeah, this is our crown jewel. It's one of our best murals. It depicts the very famous battle at Conega Creek. We have a lot of children visit, so often we have to cover up the more gruesome parts with a poster. That is horrifying. Yes, it is. I'm barely 34, and I've already landed a Parks Department Exploratory Subcommittee. I'm a rocket ship! One time I convinced her to try to fax someone a fruit roll-up. She one time made out with the water delivery guy in her office on Halloween. She was dressed up as Batman, not Batgirl, Batman. <laughs> so I am going to make a vow now that I will do whatever it takes to get this pit filled in, even if it takes two months. Woo! People who come in here to ask me for things have to stare right down the barrel. Did you guys get a grant? It's very, it's giving the office. I watched accidentally kind of the last two seasons of The Office and I enjoyed it thoroughly. <laughs> um, but I kind of spoil it for me, so I wouldn't react to it, but I, I did like it. It's hypnotizing. Like I just walked into the room to get something and then I just didn't leave. I couldn't walk away. And then he's so curious because the concept that I have for this show, like all of the characters of, of the first episode are main characters in my head. So they're not really working in the same office or like in the same thing either. Like how did Chris Pratt come to, co come to work for the department? Is he even like so many questions in my head. I just have memes rolling there all night long. So it's like, how did this happen? Tom hides the eggs, and I have to say he did an exceptional job this year. I've been searching for 25 minutes and I haven't found a single egg, and I'm an adult. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do that. <laughs> as respected as Mother Teresa, she's as powerful as Stalin, and she's as beautiful as Margaret Thatcher. Oh, honey, geez, you know how busy I am. I know, I know, I know. That's why I fake invited you. <laughs> when I was in sixth grade, I was voted best dressed by 87 votes. And there were only 63 people in my class. <laughs> if the person looks like a celebrity, example, Jack Nicholson, use this to help your pitch. Example, you can't handle the pit. That's why we need to turn it into a park. How would you feel if we turned that pit into a beautiful community park? Oh, yeah. That would be a great idea. Oh, good. Uh, I actually live in the neighborhood, so hey. I could probably tell you a little bit about... Section 3. Okay. Um, would you be willing to come to a town meeting and show your support? Absolutely. Now, is this park going to have a playground or, you know, maybe a pool for the kids? Oh, uh, how old are your kids? No kids. Uh-oh. I'm gonna put him down as a yes. Don't do that. Also, is the park gonna be at least a thousand feet from my house? Because, you know, I really can't move again. April, please stand behind me. <laughs> That's it. That's all. That's all we got. <laughs> the flyer? Nope. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> but I'm just not sure. Okay. Which part are you not sure about? Turning the pit into a park. That's kind of a whole yeah. thing. How old are your kids? Four and two. Could the four-year-old watch the two-year-old? Okay. You design the question to give you the answer that you want. Wouldn't you rather have a park than a storage facility for nuclear waste? That seems iffy. Yeah, don't worry about it. I made it all up. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Would you change your mind if I told you that nine out of ten meth users said the same exact thing? What? How would you even know that? Survey. We surveyed crystal meth users. You don't care about your kids if you don't support this park. Excuse me? 
What time is this thing, anyway? Ah, uh, it's next month. Forget it. Oh, it's tomorrow night. I'll be there. Great. Game changer. You just busted the game wide open. How? Andy. We need Andy. He's our symbol. We'll wheel him around the neighborhood to get sympathy. Uh, sure. Paul, what can I do for you? Sullivan Street Park Project. You fast-tracked it, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have a public forum tomorrow. Okay, great. I'll be there. Right. Mm, hey, you fast-tracked that, right? I'm sorry, did you say something? Nope. Didn't say anything to me. Nope. Just tell me! It is my dream to build a park that I one day visit with my White House staff on my birthday. <laughs> and they say, President, nope. This park is awesome. Now we understand why you are the first female president of the United States. Wow, really? I have to cancel this meeting. Fast track? Did my name come up at all? Oh, this meeting needs to be canceled. <laughs> no, it's happening. I really want you to nail this. Yeah? Don from Don no Cement, no Tom Haverford, no good to see you. My mom's here. My mom's here. My mom's here. Oh, no, I can't do that. That's illegal. Now, there are many people that I spoke to who are passionately in support of this idea. None of them were able to make it tonight, unfortunately, but they totally exist. I did not make them up. Oh, I see a question, okay. No, no. Whoa. Uh, no. No questions right now. My name is Kate Spivak. Mm -hmm, I remember you. And I live in the neighborhood. And I am 100% against this park. I cannot believe the department is moving forward with the project without a single environmental impact study. And if you guys agree with me, let's take a stand. Oh. I'm in a band. It's called Just the Tip. And actually, if anyone here plays bass, uh, we need a bassist. You need to put a happy face on this, give me a few positive talking points, and whatever you do, avoid a vote. <sighs> Who, when seeing the whiteness of his skin, twisted him to death. Flash forward to 1969. Man walks on the moon. Pawnee is lousy with hippies. My God, she's filibustering her own meeting. Filibuster! Boom! They can't touch you if you talk forever. I can't speak of the future. Okay, no all right, you know what? This is a public forum, which means that we all get to tell you what we think. Right. Well, you did already talk, ma'am. And I would love to listen to someone else, someone I don't know. Uh, hey, girl. that girl over there with the long brown hair and the yellow top. I recognize her. A kid came to my door yesterday. Oh my God. Okay, they have planted people in this audience. Oh. Unbelievable. You know what? We all agree that this park is a bad idea. We should just take a vote, yeah. right? Okay, we will take a vote before we do, but we will have many public forums in the future, and we hope to see you all there. Thank you so much for coming. God, I loved it. I loved every minute of it. Hey, park lady. Yeah? You suck. <laughs> Hear that? called me park lady. <laughs> well, so much second-hand embarrassment. <laughs> but she's oddly very charming. Like, she's not charming, but you, you, you start to care about her. You know, like, she's so, she's nauseatingly nice and positive. How do you stay that positive? I need a tip. Well, I guess parks is basically everything that has been promised to me before. <laughs> it is very nice and easygoing and I am kind of off. I, it feels kind of weird and odd that it only has like, what, eight episodes or something like that? Um, why is the first season so short? It's so weird to me. Alright guys, this was it for today's video. Thank you very, very much for joining me. Have a great day and I'll see you next week with Bojack Horseman. Thank you so much to Sheriff JT, TCR, Topher, Eric, Daniel M, Gigi, Johnny336, and Travis Shudansky.